Hayes, or number 10, Woods, playing very good defense. Number uh, back, passes back to number 14, Frawley. Frawley passes back to number 10, Woods. Scores tied 55 to uh, 45 to 45, two minutes and 28 seconds for left on the clock. Number 21, Hicks has the ball. And it'll be a foul on Stacey Irvin. And that, that's his fourth foul. Number 21, Hicks will be shooting one and one. The score is tied 45 to 45 with two minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Hicks shoots his first one, give it to him. He's got one more shot. Hicks, it's up. Give it to him. Titans is behind, 47 to 45. Bays brings it down the timeline. McConnell sets the pick. Bays still has it, gives it to Davison. Davison gives it to Osborne, Osborne. It's Odin call. I really don't catch who got who done it. It's number 44, Josh Bricky. Justin Osborne will be shooting Two, I believe. He'll be shooting two. And like I said, Osborne has been very successful on his foul shooting tonight. It's up. Give it to him. Nothing but the net. Osborne's second shot. It's up. Good. Woods has it, brings it down the timeline. The score is tied, 47 to 47. With one minute and 55 seconds left on the clock, Hicks has the ball. McConnell playing D. Irvin don't need to foul. And the uh, Titans come out with the rebound. Irvin brings it across the timeline. Take your time. Number 31, Bays. Over and back to Irvin. Irvin puts a move with a little jumper. Not come but the net. Number 20, Bagwell over to Woods. Woods back to Frawley. Frawley drives it in. Shoots. He scores. Give him two. Irvin has the ball. The score is tied, 49 to 49. Irvin has the ball. There are 55 seconds remaining on the clock. The Titans would rather take overtime than having a chance to lose it. <laughs> 38 seconds left on the clock. Scores tied. Twenty nine seconds left on the clock. Back to Bays. Over to Irvin. Titans call a timeout. Nineteen seconds left on the clock. The score is forty nine to forty nine. And like I said, it's not over until the fat lady sings. <laughs> The camera operator is Patrick Johnson, stack keeper is Chuck Quillen, and I'm Jamie Burke as your commentator for tonight. But Charles Quillen will be back next week. We'll be playing Norton. And let's hope Chuck gets better. It's been a very, very, very good game tonight. Both these teams has done a very good job defensive-wise and offensive-wise. Southern North looks better than what their record shows. 
You can't go by a team's record. You never can go by a team's record. Don't matter if they're 8 and 0 or 0 and 8, you can't go by the team's record. And it looks like the same five for the Raiders. Number 21, Hicks. Number 20, Bagwell. Number 44, Josh Bricky. Number 14, Frawley. And number 10, Woods. Titans ball. Number 31 will be throwing it in. Matt Bays gives it to Irvin. Irvin. He's bring, going to bring it across the timeline. Irvin. Takes his time. They're not eight seconds left on the clock. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And we'll be going in overtime, folks. This will make up from a little bit of what we lost. We'll be three minutes put back on the clock. We'll be going in the big OT. It's tied, 49-49. Excuse me, four minutes left on the clock. Raiders is not giving up. Also, the Titans aren't either. Played a very, very good game tonight. Don't matter who wins tonight, they deserve to win. Irvin has four fouls. Davidson has four fouls. McConnell has one. Osborne has one. Uh, Bays has three. So we need Irvin and Davidson in there. And for the for the Sullivan North Raiders, Martin Bagwell has four. Andy Johnson has four. Billy Castle has three, and Josh Bricky has three. So I assume that Raiders don't need to lose them two players either. Irvin and Bagwell will be jumping for the ball. A lot of y'all don't know by now we're in overtime. Number 21, Hicks. Raiders wins the jump. Hicks has the ball. Tries to do something with it. Twin Springs is playing very good defense. Frawley has it in the Bricky. Bricky, turn around jumper, no good. Frawley gets it back off the board. It's no good. And number 20 tips it in for the Raiders and scores 51 to 49. Bates has it over to Osborne, Osborne. Drives it in, gives to McConnell. McConnell give him two! David McConnell scores! Give him two! Woods. Passes to Frawley. Gives it in to Bricky. Bricky goes in. Irvin gets the rebound. He missed the complete goat and everything. Irvin. Passes in to Bays. Bays gives to McConnell. McConnell passes back to Bays. Bays gives it to Osborne. Osborne gives to Davison. Davison back to Bays. Oh, and uh, Matt Bays throws it away. Number 20, Bagwell steals it. He's up, and oh, Irvin gets the rebound again. Brings it down to the timeline. Irvin. Drives in for the jumper, and it's no good. And it's a charging foul on Stacey Irvin. And that's Irvin's fourth foul. Woods bring it down across the timeline. For the Raiders, there's two minutes and 14 seconds left in overtime. Hicks has it. Passes back out to Frawley. Frawley dribbles it. Gives it back to a Hicks. Hicks. 
Gets it into Bagwell. Bagwell shoots, and it's nothing. It's no good. Matt Bays gets the rebound. Matt Bays brings it down to the timeline. Gets to Irvin. Irvin. Seeing what to do. There are a minute and 40 seconds left on the clock. He passes to Bays. Bays gives it to Osborne. Osborne gets the holding call. Number 14. Josh Fr Frawley. He'll be shooting. Two. And that's his fifth foul. Frawley is fifth foul. And he'll be taking out number 22. Andy Johnson will be coming in for the Raiders, I believe. Oh, excuse me, Bagwell. Bagwell fouled out. Number 22, Andy Johnson will be checking in for the Raiders. Osborne will be shooting two. He's been very good on his foul shots. There are a minute and 34 seconds remaining on the clock. It's tied 51 to 51. And, and timeout, North. Titans has struggled tonight by shooting, but it's paid off here in the fourth quarter, and now we're in overtime. With three minutes and 34 seconds remaining on the clock, and Osborne will be shooting two. And it's game time. Johnson coming in for Bagwell. Osborne shooting two. His first one's up. Give it to him. Nothing but the net. The score is now 52 to 51. Titans ahead. Osborne's second shot. It's up. And it's no good. Frawley gets the rebound. Crosses the timeline. Frawley gives it to uh, Woods. Woods back to Frawley. Frawley drives in. And it's. And he scores. And it's 55, David McConnell. It was a blocker and foul. That's McConnell's second foul. Frawley will be shooting. One. Scores 53 to 52. Raiders remaining. And now the score is 54 to 52. Raiders remaining ahead. With a minute and 14 seconds left on the clock, Irvin passes to Bays. Bays gives to Osborne. Osborne gives to Davison. Davison hands it over to Bays. Osborne inside. Give it to him, baby. Give it to him. Give him two. The foul is on number 22. Andy Johnson. The score, score is tied, 54 to 54 with a minute remaining on the clock. He'll be shooting one. And his first shot's good, and the Twin Springs Titans lead by one. 55 to 54, and the 58 seconds remaining on the clock. Raiders have it, number 10, Woods. Gives it to Frawley, Frawley. Pass to Hicks, Hicks. Has it, gives it back to Woods, Woods. Drops it in. And McConnell gets the rebound, this over back to 44. Josh Brinke. McConnell will be shooting one and one. Titans are ahead.
ahead, 55 to 54. With 37 seconds remaining on the clock in OT, baby. McConnell's first shot. It's up and it's no good. He'll be shooting two, I'm sorry. He has one more. He needs to score this and if he makes this and I should call a timeout. And it scores 56 to 54 and the Titans do call a timeout with 37 seconds remaining on the clock in OT. Titans are ahead by two, 56 to 54 in OT. It's been a very good game. Like I said, we'll be playing Norton Norton Raiders next week at 6 o'clock. And Charles Quinn will be your commentator. I believe it is here. I'm not for sure. Don't listen to me, but I believe it's here. And the Titans come back on the floor ready to play ball. And North, uh, North coming back on the floor. It'll be Raiders, Raiders ball. Excuse me. Number 44, Brecker will be throwing it in. Bounds. Gets it to number 10, Woods. Wood. Ready to cross the timeline. Bays. Wet, they, uh, back to Frawley. Frawley throws it in to Brecky. Brecky almost gets it knocked away by McConnell. Bricky shoots. It's no good. Over gets the rebound. 17 seconds left on the clock. And he's fouled by number 10, Woods. 15 seconds remaining on the clock. And Titans are leading by two. It's 56 to 54. Irvin's first shot, give it to him. Titans leading by three, 57 to 54. Irvin's second shot's good. Titans leading by four. Raider, Titans call a timeout. It's 58 to 54 with 15 seconds remaining in overtime. And Titans fans are going wild. Looks like Irvin's made up for the shots he missed in the first and second quarter. And I, 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 as well as the other four, Bays, McConnell. And Osborne. And Sullivan North. Looks better than their record shows. Put a good team like Twin Springs in overtime, you know they've done a good job. But it ain't over yet. There's still 15 minutes and uh, 15 seconds left on the clock. <coughs> It'll be Raiders ball. Number 44, Brickery will be throwing it in. Passes the Woods, Woods. Takes it down the court. He goes in for the layup and it's good. And it's Raiders take a timeout. Scores 56 to 58. Nine seconds remaining, it'll be Titans ball. A 
Last year, we beat Sullivan North the very first game. And then the second game, we lost a heartbreaker to them. But Irvin reached his 1,000 points by scoring 42 points. His first sophomore to reach 1,000 points. And in overtime. As you know, Sullivan North has played Twin Springs very good every time we've played them. And right now, it's no different. Raiders has must lost Young and a few other of their starters. As also as the Twin Springs Titans has lost Collins uh, and Jones. But there ain't nobody on the Twin Springs team that can't replace them. Osborne has done a very good job this game. Also as the other four starters, Irvin, Bays, Davison, and McConnell. It'll be Titans ball. Raiders is putting the full court pressure. But Irvin has it and he's fouled. There's six seconds left on the clock. Titans head by eight. Or I mean by two. It's 58 to 56. Osborne has 31 points. Irvin's first shot, nothing but the net. Irvin has 15. Irvin's second shot, give it to him. And it's a timeout for Twin Springs and the Titans lead 60 to 56 with six seconds remaining on the clock. I say the Titans pretty much have this one wrapped up. But anything can happen in this game of basketball. As we said a while ago, Patrick Johnson's the camera operator, Charles Quillen's the stack keeper, and Jamie Burke is your commentator, and that's me. But Charles Quillen will be your commentator and stack keeper next week against J.I. Burton Raiders. Okay, the Titans are ahead by four. With six seconds remaining on the clock. Bricky will be throwing it inbounds for the Raiders. Bricky gives it to Woods. Woods across the timeline. Over to Frawley. Frawley shoots. I give it to him. With that one too, and the Twin Springs Titan has come out to win this in 60 to 58. It's been a very good game tonight. I hope. I hope. Yeah, I hope uh, North has a good, uh, good trip, safe trip home, and we'll see you next week against the Norton Raiders.